What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rome 300. I'm back again with another video. I want to thank you guys for joining me on He Smells Like Rome. Oh man, this has been a crazy fast January. Uh, it's been going past really fast and I wanted to get another review out before this year, not this year, before this month was over. So we're going to put out another banger exclusive for you guys because y'all know that's exactly what I do. I bring y'all some exclusive fragrance that you have not heard of. Maybe you heard of it, maybe you haven't. I don't see any other reviewers talking about it, so I wanted to put my little two cents on this beautiful banger. Before I go any further, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please hit the like button, and also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I shoot a video. I would truly appreciate it. You know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to that 2K subscriber. I don't have a super high goal. I just want to get 2,000. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to start baby steps. But without further ado, let's get into this review. This review is from Dreamhouse Curio. Yes, you guys know I am very intrigued with this house and I have a decent amount of fragrances that you can see from the house. I think I have somewhere around almost 10, 10 fragrances from that house. And Vincent, as you guys know or don't know, is the perfumer, the creator behind the entire brand, the entire house. Um, for those who don't know, he does create all his own fragrances. He comes with the concept of the artwork, all the way from the boxes, the photos, and the ingredients that come into the fragrance. He makes everything himself in house. And I do truly appreciate that because there's not a lot of that going around. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having, you know, beautiful perfume and make your fragrances or it's a beautiful perfume. A established perfume of making your fragrances, nothing wrong with that, but I do appreciate the little facts that people study their craft and you know want to make something and has that little bit of, you know, brush it off your shoulder saying that I made this. So that's why I, I, I fucks with uh, uh, Dreamhouse. So I'm going to try to say this name, Le Belle Dame Saint Merci. Le Belle Dame Saint Merci. I hope that I'm saying it is French that means the woman without mercy in French. Obviously, you know my French isn't good at all, so I'll put the name up there so y'all can see it. All right, so this fragrance, uh, just a little history, was created and, or inspired by uh, Vincent's ex-girlfriend. I don't know the total meaning behind why he made it for her, but I know that it was inspired by her. Um, and this fragrance is heavily on the magnolia, bourbon, creamy vanilla side. And I know y'all saying, okay, Romy saying another boozy fragrance. This is different, right? This is a different boozy fragrance. I'm not even gonna say boozy because it's, it's not super boozy. It's, it has a, a milky, buttery, uh, almost, ice cream kind of feel. So let's start from the beginning. I don't want to take y'all too far into the, the uh, end of the fragrance. Beginning of this fragrance, you're gonna get a nice opening of magnolia. Now this magnolia uh, it is met with a creamy, buttery um, vanilla. Now, if you ever smell magnolia, flower or the, the tree that it grows on, the flower bud, the little white part. If you ever smell that, you know that it has a slight, slight, not slight, it has a decent lemony kind of smell. It almost smells like a fresh ripe lemon that hasn't been peeled yet. And that smell is very, very inviting. Um, this is complemented with that uh, and an equal amount of like creamy, milky vanilla. Now the combination of that, it it just puts a smile on my face because it just, you remember them, them lemon ice cream pops? Or a, um, yeah, if you ever had those back in the day, I'm not even sure if they even make those anymore. They used to make an orange one and they made a lemon one and it, it just, when I smell it, it brought me right back there. Um, it also has this, this uh, slightly floral opening too. So the magnolia with the lemony smell, you still get a little bit of floral, 
with that in this uh, this milky vanilla. So that's the opening. That lasts uh, for a decent time, a decent amount. This is, it comes out a little heavy on the opening, which is probably, you usually don't think citrus heavy. Vanilla, not really heavy, but you can feel the, the legs behind it. Um, but in this case, this fragrance come off you get that blast of that lemon, you get that blast of that creamy vanilla and a uh, slightly floral aspect in the beginning. Get a little bit more towards the middle of the fragrance and this is where you get, in my opinion, the booziness. Now this is a kind of almost a Tennessee bourbon booziness that comes off of this fragrance. And I know y'all saying to me, this seems like there's gonna be a boozy fragrance. It's not. It has hints of booziness in it, and the bourbon is not the actual bourbon itself. It's like you have the cast that the bourbon was aged in, and you basically smelled inside of the barrel that the bourbon was in. So you get that kind of slight booziness from this fragrance. Still have the cream in it, still have the um, magnolia with the lemon kind of smell. But then it leans more into the ice cream. The lemon uh, magnolia kind of fades away slightly. That vanilla stays, it actually gets stronger and it mixes it with that bourbon kind of whiskey smell. Um, and it's actually pleasant. But it takes a twist, and now it becomes very, very, like almost buttery and floral. Not bad, but this takes a turn, and I, I explain that it becomes, to me, slightly feminine. Leans more feminine than it does masculine, and that's on purpose. I don't think that this fragrance was made for men. That doesn't mean you can't wear it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was very hesitant wearing this at first, right? Spray it on here so I can get a good idea from the opening so you can get my real expression. And you can see the sprayer. All right, so, like I said, yep. Mm. Yeah, this is really nice. So let me get back to what I was saying. So when I first sprayed this, guys, I got the Magnolia and slightly a little bit freshy kind of fragrance, just for a couple of seconds. And then I got the vanilla and the florals hit me more. More than the lemon smell, it was very floral um, and I was like, I don't wanna wear this. I said, I don't feel like smelling like no girl right now. I don't wanna wear this. But it was new and it was intriguing. So I said, let me see what the dry down is gonna smell like. Let me see if I'm gonna like it, right? So, of course, I wore it. I wore it. I didn't even really go to I think I went to go get me a cheesesteak or something. Wore it out. Yeah, I actually did. I went to, wore it out and I went to uh, Jersey Mike's. Get in there and the lady, that was, the, no, the lady that was coming out did like a little double take. I thought she just was checking her brother out because, you know, I'm kind of sexy, you know, in my head. But she didn't say nothing to me. She just looked at me. There was a lady that was at the counter taking orders. It's a beautiful Amazon. She had to be at least six foot sexy lady too. She's taking the lady order, stopped in the middle of her order, said to me, she's like, wait a minute, what is that you got on? I need to know what that is. That smells so good. I'm like, you can finish taking a lady order. I didn't know the name. I couldn't, I just purchased it, right? So I didn't know what the name was and I couldn't pronounce it. I was like, I said, if I tell you, I'll write the name down for you. Caught me off guard because I, myself, one, I didn't think it projected that far. And two, I was kind of self-conscious of like, yeah, this feels a little girly to me. You know, it feels a little girly. And you know, it's crazy for her. 
that it didn't remind her anything of a, of a fragrance. It just smelled good to her, and that gave me a lesson on you know stop being so self conscious about stuff. It can still smell good, but I just didn't feel comfortable the first wearing of it. It did kind of make me smile that she liked it, but it, for me, I was I have to be honest. I knew it smelled good, but I was like, this is gonna be a great fragrance for my wife. So let's go. Oh, I keep forgetting to show y'all. Y'all know Vincent always, you know, if you can see, he always does this crazy. It's his signature, like the the, the wax thing. Like y'all see, well, honestly, Sean, he he does like these cool, you know, signature wax on the bottles. Um, it's just it's really cool. I, I like that. And, it's, I don't know, I'm just, I'm rambling right now. Let's get back to Okay, so, let's go to the dry down of the fragrances. We're about four and a half hours in, maybe five hours in, and this thing is still, is still projecting. It's still coming off pretty strong. About 60% versus it being exactly like, like that 95% of just busting me in my face. Now, not so self-conscious after I leave out of Jersey Mike's anymore. I'm just kind of feeling myself a little bit because now, a part of this fragrance to dry down is something I really like, right? So we got this, this honey and cherry kind of dry down mixed with this bourbon um, feel. Now, those combinations of the honey complemented the sweetness of this creaminess of the vanilla. It also complemented the, the smell of the magnolia, took away the floral aspect about it, and gave me a little bit more of that um, faint but pleasant lemony smell. Now, combination of boozy, vanilla, honey, that's, you know, in my book, just the perfect fragrance, right? Still floral and still feminine because now we have this cherry note that is dry, like a dry cherry, but still it's feminine and there's nothing wrong with that this is it was made if I can remember for females and it was supposedly made if I uh, correct me if I'm wrong Vincent if you're watching this I think this was made for Valentine's Day so that brings me to my conclusion of this phrase it smells good on men it does I personally think it would smell amazing Stupendous, just an aphrodisiac if a man smells this on a woman. I have not had an opportunity to let my wife smell this, but my co workers, I brought a sample to work and I smell it on their hand, and I like it on them more than I like it on me. So if you're a female and you're looking for a fragrance that has, you know, this creamy vanilla floral aspect to it with a boozy dry down also with you know a slight sweet honey dry cherry note you'll like this you will like it it balances in between of uh, being this dainty girl fragrance but i think this has more of a mysterious kind of vibe to it it has more of a uh, sensuous sexy kind of vibe and that's why I think a female would truly love this fragrance now if you guys and you say yeah I don't give what you're saying bro I like everything you was talking about with the notes I'm gonna try it by all means do so it is and it will be a great fragrance to smell if you're comfortable with those aspects uh, that I was talking about that lean more feminine I myself, I am a victim of my own mind because I associate certain smells with either my mom, my uh, past girlfriends, or even teachers that have had those similar notes when they're perfume. So, that's just me. All in all, an intriguing composition that I think you guys will definitely love or this will be an excellent fragrance to surprise your significant other, 
your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance with for Valentine's Day. So go check this fragrance out. Get samples from Vincent, call them up. I'll leave the link in the, the description below. I truly think you guys will like this fragrance. Ladies, check it out, it's no joke. All right, that's it. That's all I'm gonna give y'all. I ain't giving y'all no more. I mean, is there anything else I forgot? Did I forget anything? Oh, uh, absolutely, date nighttime fragrance, absolutely. Um, definitely winter fragrance. Um, fall, yes, but colder months and it's not super mature. It's a playful fragrance, it's feminine, playful. Anybody from 20 to 50, 60 would be fine, but I think this will stay in the, the 20 to uh, maybe mid to late 30s will enjoy this because it does have a younger characteristic behind it. So, that's pretty much it. I'm finished with my review done go check it out guys uh, truly appreciate y'all watching my videos my Instagram page is growing I, I, I'm surprised about that um, but I'm putting better content out I'm putting better uh, pictures up I'm trying to be a little bit more attentive to detail in those things and I want to make my videos a lot more interesting so that's what I'm gonna keep doing keep pumping these things out for you guys and hopefully you will enjoy them all right that is La Belle de San Messi from Dreamhouse Securio. I'm your boy Rumpty Hundred. Until next time, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like rum. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, peace.